Well, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. Uh, this week we've been looking at uh, little faiths. Uh, Jesus several times looked at the disciples and said, either he said, you have little faith, or it's also translated, you little faiths. One is more of a nickname. And he, he just kind of was saying, okay, y'all just don't have faith, so I'm going to call you little faiths. Uh, now there's where he's kind of chewing them out by saying, uh, you don't have enough faith. And that's one of the things that Jesus is trying to build into his disciples is faith. Uh, faith is very important. Uh, today, again, we're going to be by the uh, Sea of Galilee. I probably should have entitled this week's messages uh, Lessons from Jesus at the Lakeside uh, or at the Lake uh, because most of them seem to have taken place there at Galilee. But again, today, we look at Matthew chapter 16, verse 5. When they went across the lake, the disciples forgot to take bread. Be careful, Jesus said to them, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. They discussed this among themselves and said, it's because we didn't bring any bread. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked, you of little faith, or you little faiths, why are you talking among yourselves about having no bread? Do you still not understand? Don't you remember the 5,000? I mean, the five loaves for the 5,000 and how many basketfuls you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the 4,000 and how many basketfuls you gathered? How is it you don't understand that I was not talking to you about bread? But be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against the yeast used in bread, but against the teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So Jesus, he and the disciples go across the lake, and it was their uh, way to bring bread. Uh, bread was a, a huge staple in Jesus' day. It is what they would eat, uh, and it would be a big part of their meal. Still is today if you go to Israel. That's one of the things that uh, I enjoy about Israel is all the bread. Everywhere we go, there's plenty of bread. And so it's, it's uh, you know, all but, but they had forgotten the bread. And uh, so when Jesus realized that, he tried to take that as an example. He wanted, he used examples from everyday, illustrations from everyday life. And so he said, be careful that you guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Well, he's trying to teach them something. He's trying to increase their faith to say, okay, Pharisees and Sadducees are, are the standard for the religious folk here in Israel. But I have higher standards and I have things that are different and some of their teachings are not right. And they start discussing this about among themselves and it's because we didn't bring any bread. And so they were all concerned about the little issue of not bringing bread. And Jesus gets a little exasperated out of them. And he says, oh, you little face. He said, I'm not talking about bread. He said, don't you remember that when we fed 5,000 with five loaves or seven loaves, we fed 4,000? I'm not worried about bread. God can make that. But he's worried about their faith development. He's worried about that they would do things right. And after his lesson to them, they realized, okay, he's telling us to really examine what the Pharisees and Sadducees are teaching. And one of the issues with the Pharisees and Sadducees is that, yes, they were looking for Messiah, but they were more into teaching, the Pharisees were more into teaching the Torah and the Torah was important. and But they weren't really looking for the Messiah to come fulfill that. The Torah always was looking for a person, the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God to come. And they were missing that. The Sadducees were just looking for the temple worship. That God is at the temple, this is where we worship him and find it. And they don't realize and they've not emphasized the importance of him coming in Messiah. And they were missing it. Those two groups were missing it. They had missed Jesus as being Messiah. And so 
He's wanting to increase their faith. And so today, I pray that your faith will increase, that Jesus won't have to look at us and look and say, okay, you little faith. Um, let's have a great faith and a faith that's always growing and discerning the teachings we hear about whether they're from Christ or not. There's a lot of bad teaching out there. And we need to reject that. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll finish up our series on little faiths this week. Blessings upon you.